hey guys welcome back to another video in the series of batch scripting so as you can see on my screen today's topic is guest editions so today we are going to discuss what exactly is guest editions and how to install so guest edition is the virtual box you can say that virtual box get edition as well consists of device drivers and system application that optimize the operating system for better performance and usability one of the usability features required in this guide is automated logons, which is why you need to install the guest editions in the virtual machine. Now, there was one example in the last video, if you have seen this series, that when we were trying to expand the window or maximize the window, it was not coming full screen. In order to, to make it full screen, you need guest edition. So in this video, we'll see how to add guest editions with the installation and the command throughout the video. So before moving forward, if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly do so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the demo part. So first of all, log in into your CentOS through VirtualBox. Give the password which is osboxes.org. Once done, click on sign in or hit enter and it will log in into your CentOS. It can take up to some time for the first few hours. Now go to your terminal through activities and type sudo yum update. Now this will update everything and keep your system up to date. Now you have to give your password over here and hit enter. Once done, it will start updating and start downloading. So it will one uh, once it will ask that whether you have to go forward, click on Y or just type Y over there and hit enter. Once done, it will start downloading the latest packages and then it will install them. So you have to wait for it. It will again ask you for this yes or no, give a yes and hit enter. It can take up to some time depending on your internet speed. I will fast forward this video in order to save some time. So this is done in front of you guys. Perfect. Now you have to type a command sudo yum install tar which is star b zip to space kernel dash or hyphen devil kernel hyphen h e a d e r which is headers space p e r l perl space g c c space make space e l f u t i l s space sorry hyphen l i b which is e l f hyphen devil and then it lasts for the password which is again osboxes.org you have to type that and hit enter and it will start downloading some stuff so you can keep waiting or you can just do your some other work it can take up to some time it might ask you for a yes or no with a prompt just hit y and then hit enter and then it will start downloading the dependencies i have fast forwarded it and then you can see that it's completed now again you have to type a command sudo reboot if you are not able to reboot it through here you can do it through virtualbox as well the first one click enter and it can take up to some time in order to come back let's just wait perfect now hit enter again here and give the password which is osboxes.org once done hit enter and Again, go back to input. You can see that input is over there and then right side devices. There was an option of guest edition. Click there and it will ask you with this prompt, click on run. Once done, it will again ask you for the password. Click on osboxes.org or just type that osboxes.org and hit enter. And it will start installing the additional modules for VirtualBox get editions. It will again take some time depending on your inter internet speed in the VM. Once done, it will say press return to close the window. Just close the window. Close this as well. Go to activities. Go to terminal. And you can type sudo reboot. Once again reboot it. If not possible from here, just you can do through VirtualBox as well. Once it is rebooted, just close this pop-up. The first one only hit enter. And it will take some time to come up. Just wait for the moment. You can close this if you want. 
and it is taking again some time which is okay now it has come up hit enter and give the password again which is osboxes.org after that hit sign in perfect let me close this so it has come up now what you'll do just expand it and you can see that the full screen mode has been enabled if you click on activities you can see on the terminal everything is perfect over here and this is completely on the new screen or you can say full size screen so i hope these steps are clear to you guys if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that issue you have to do it because uh, this is a, just a choice uh, some of the people can work on the smaller screen i prefer this one so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video